everybody in year two. Welcome to the Friday quiz. Hope you're all well and staying safe. Um, like the previous weeks, um, I'm going to read out a question. It's going to give you five seconds to answer. If you need any longer, just press the pause button um, on your computer to give yourself a bit more time. Right, are we ready, Mr B? We are ready to go. Okay, question number one. In the science experiment this week, tea bag trouble, what was the variable that we changed? In the science experiment this week, tea bag trouble, what was the variable we changed? Five, four, three, two, one. Question two. This week you have been looking at 2D and 3D shapes. So my question for you is, what is the difference between a 2D and a 3D shape? What is the difference between a 2D and a 3D shape? Five, four, three, two, one. Question number three. Can you name a 3D shape without any vertices? Can you name a 3D shape without any vertices? Five, four, three, two, one. Question four. What is the difference between the faces on a cube and the faces on a cuboid? What is the difference between the faces on a cube and the faces on a cuboid? Five, four, Three, two, one. Question number five. What is alliteration? Mr. Bar, what is alliteration? Ooh, ah, let me have a think. Five. Should four, know. English lead. Three, three two, got it. One. Good question. Question six, guys. This is back to your topic. Your topic is Africa, and my question is simple. How do you spell Africa? How do you spell Africa? Five, four, three, two, one. Question number seven. What African language have we been learning this week? What African language have we been learning this week? Five, four, three, two, one. Question eight. Am I glad to be reading this one out? This one is all about how you say something in the language you've been learning about this week. So the question is, how do you say welcome in Zulu? How do you say welcome in Zulu? Five, four, three, two, one. Question number nine. In the new story we started looking at on Thursday, who built the house? In the story we started looking at on Thursday, who built the house? That's the name of the boy who built the house. And your final question this week, guys, question 10. You've been learning all about the fact that Muslims complete Hajj to show commitment to God, to their God. What is the name of their God? So this week you've been learning about what the Muslims complete the Hajj to show commitment to their God. What is the name of their God? Five, four, three, 